Hello, welcome, thanks for joining me for another shave video. Uh, as you can hear, my voice is a, a little bit deeper than normal. Um, I think I've caught a cold or something, maybe what the wife had, I've got a sore throat and headache. And Anyway, we're here for another shave. I enjoy it when uh, I've got a cold. You may think, find that a bit weird, but uh, I like the deep, sexy voice. Um, <clears throat> Today's uh, shave is going to be dedicated to uh, a new friend of mine um, and he's also a new soap artisan. His name is uh, Russell Barton of we uh, Wild West Shaving Company. Um, you may have seen on the um, Facebook groups his uh, soaps um, getting out there. Uh, he's making several different um, scents uh, based on um, where they've been named with a connection to the Wild West. So uh, this one's for you, Russell. And I've picked up a picked out a few uh, shaven bits that uh, hopefully you'll enjoy. And the soap is Barrister and Man, Rome. As you can see, that's got the uh, cowboy on his horse. That's a, a leathery, earthy kind of scent. It's uh, obviously a bit more complicated than that, than that, uh, as it's a barrister and man soap. That's, uh, that's what it looks like. It's quite a firm soap. So we'll lather that up in a minute. I've got my Vylong horsehair brush soaking in the mug. Uh, the razor is um, my aristocrat and the uh, blade is, you guessed it, Gillette 7 o'clock sharp edge. Uh, I thought you were going to say the Persona 74 didn't you? Has been using it for the last half dozen shaves, or four shaves. So I'll be using that today, and then uh, still trying to get down the um, Humphreys aftershave. There's uh, PAA Tombstone. You have to take my word on it, as the uh, labels faded there. And uh, just finishing off with um, Rock Face Moisturizer. So I've got. Uh, I just had a shower. Just wet the face. I've got warm water in the um, sink today. So as you can see there, it's the uh, sort of a Wild West theme shave. Just shake a bit of the water out with the brush. Just loading up the soap. Um, Normally this uh, not takes enough lather for uh, two passes, so for the third pass I'll probably go back to the puck and load a little more. I'll load it heavy to start with. Woke up this morning and uh, felt rough as a badger's ass. Oh, headache, sore throat. So, I wasn't gonna do a shave video, but I took a um, sort of a cold flu remedy. I feel slightly better, but. my um, Sunday for a live shave this Sunday so if you're on my um, Facebook group Civic Shaver Facebook group I'll let you know there whether I'm gonna go ahead with a live shave or not so I'm just painting on this lather and then I'll add more water Oh, 
I haven't got the um, the sinus problem my wife had, or sort of an earache. But, um, hopefully, in the next couple of days, I'll feel a lot better. Just add a little bit more water. Watched um, Zach's video. And he done, done a sh head shave with um, a week's growth. And he uh, dedicated it to me, so thanks very much, uh, Zach. Sorry it didn't uh, work out as you would have liked it to, but we didn't know until we tried, do we? Yeah, so um, Russell Barton was uh, kind enough to create a discount code which is Suffolk so if you go to the uh, Facebook uh, group uh, Wild West Shaving Company um, if you go ahead and uh, decide to purchase some of Russell's soap just use the code Suffolk S-U-F-F-O-L-K and you get a 15% discount um, if your purchase is $15 or over. As I said in a previous video, I tried um, Russell's kind of first attempt at shaving soaps. Um, they were slick enough, but um, the, uh, the lather itself wasn't sustainable. Oh, that's a big word, isn't it? Sustainable. Uh, but um, I've seen various wet shavers on YouTube use it, the new formula. And, uh, performance now is outstanding and uh, everybody's loving the, um, the scents So it'll be uh, interesting to try them myself. That's the um, fourth shave on this blade. I was looking at my blades and I thought oh, I'll use that one for a change. Give the uh, Persona 74 a break.
blade is very smooth. Do an impression for you, shall I? This is the voice of the Mr. Ons. What do you think? <laughs> Good first pass. I'll tell you a little story. Let me just get the water first and I'll go into it. Just get some more hot water in the sink. Somebody might have um, somebody might know what that reference was to. If you're old enough. Yeah, so I was at work on Wednesday evening. And um, got back to the yard with my first job. Dropped the trailer in the yard. Pulled off, no, pulled the, uncoupled, <coughs> pulled off the trailer, drove and parked outside the front of the office, took my um, paperwork in to get my second job, and uh, whilst I was standing there waiting, two people from um, our office upstairs they came down went to their cars I got my second job and went outside and my truck was parked in front of one of the person's cars so I had to climbed in the truck and as I climbed in I saw This lady stand beside her car, she put her folders and paperwork on her on the roof of her car. And uh, she got in her car. I thought she's forgot her folders and paperwork. So I just I just drove off and uh, I thought she'll realise in a minute. Drove around the yard to find my next trailer and uh, back, backed onto it and as I was backing onto it she came round the yard and she <laughs> she she, <laughs> she she still had her folders and paperwork on the roof of her car as she was driving around the yard so I bit my horn for her to you know to stop and say you know Know, to alert her to what, what she's done and uh, no she carried on round the yard I thought okay fair enough you know I've tried so I hitch up to my trailer driving out the yard come out of the junction to uh, go up towards the docks and uh, all I saw on the side of the road was paper everywhere <laughs> so she obviously she didn't stop to 
to uh, see why I was ripping my horn for. Yeah. You try and help some people, but they just don't. They just don't, they just ignore you. They just don't wanna. They just don't wanna know. I've seen it on sort of TV and comedy programs where they put something on the roof of their car and then they they just get in, forget about it, drive off and but uh, to actually see it for yourself, oh, it was hilarious. All the, all the work she'd done that day. She'd have to obviously start over again the following day. She didn't even come back to to see if she could find it. I assume when she got home that uh, she was wondering where it, where it had gone. Right, have I got enough soap here? So I think I'll get away with it. Even if I had a little bit of water to it. Well, this brush is not, it's not big enough, so I'll just uh, paint it on. Just a dash of water. forget. Thanks to uh, any new subscribers that's uh, found my little shaven channel. So thanks very much, really appreciate it. Hope you, uh, hope you enjoy what you see. One more then. Hey yo, Adrian. <laughs>
I keep meaning to do a uh, an up to date or an updated den tour, but um, it's, uh, finding the time. I said I'd do it before I went on holiday, but um, obviously then I didn't feel, find the time either. Either, either. So uh, I've got a week off um, November. Week off in November. Get your grammar right, Steve. So many more brushes now and razors and I um, don't think I'll be able to do it all in one video. I'll have to sort of break it down. Break it down. When I was notified by Facebook on, I think that was Wednesday as well, um, of a post that I posted three years ago. Um, um, they're just saying that uh, um, I had my first shave with a DE. Do this bit here because I always find I would after the shave there's sort of a few stragglers. Yeah, so three years of wet shaving. Easy shave with the aristocrat. You know, some razors you use, they sort of make hard work. You know, they're, not, they're not cutting efficiently as some other razors do. And that will do. Just rinse off with some cold water. When I go 
first started recording on my phone instead of the iPod Touch. I struggled for um, space. But, um, I transferred photos I had of my phone um, to my external hard drive. And then got a um, one of these cleaners app, cleaner app things, and uh, use that, and that tends to uh, clean all your phone out, and you sort of end up with uh, more space. So I don't have to speed up the shave as much um, because of not knowing what time I've got to shave. So right, let's put the uh, pump freeze on. These are more efficient razors, like the one I've just had and uh, the previous one with the slim adjustable. I think last time I got a little little weeper here, but uh, apart from that, that was a great shave and same with today's shave. Right, so whilst that's drying off, let's go through the styles of the shave. Barrister Man Rome is the soap. Fantastic performance and scent. Um, as I said, it's a sort of an acquired taste, but it's a sort of a dark, earthy, leathery kind of scent. The uh, Gillette Aristocrat. I'll leave the uh, the year of the razor in the details below. Um, I forgot last time, and uh, since the shave asked what the year of the razor of the slim adjustable was so I uh, replied to his comment and told him what the year was uh, this is the Gillette 7 o'clock sharp edge it's the Gillette yellow and the fourth shave the uh, Humphreys witch hazel and now the it's dried off Put on the tombstone, PA tombstone. It's uh, can hardly read it. Uh, Gunpowder, leather, tobacco, geranium, bergamot, and rose. To give it a little shake. A menthol too. Let's have a double dip. Mm. Again, it's a, an acquired taste, but I like it. The PAA splashes they last uh, quite a few hours, and as you can see, I Got the gold on the top there and the gold of the razor. And uh, just finish off with the, the Rock Face moisturizer. So, sort of a fusier kind of scent. Not bit in the palms. So there we are folks, another shave over, another week over, um, I think we've got another week of September, so I'll be, after September I'll be using uh, synthetic brushes, um, whether I'll be using synthetic brushes solely, uh, I don't know, I may sort of uh, use a synthetic and then a natural and then synthetic and do it like that. So yeah, so thanks for watching, thanks for your likes, thanks for your comments, thanks for your subscriptions. Uh, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments box below or send an email to the Suffolk Shaver at googlemail.com and uh, have a great weekend, have some great shaves and I'll see you next week. Um, as I said about uh, Sunday live shave, I'll, um, 
I'll leave a message on my Sark Shaver uh, Facebook group and uh, yeah if, if I'll let you know yes or no if I'm gonna go ahead with the live shave and uh, if I don't see you then I'll see you next week for another shave cheers bye